Pokemon Pokemon Y Wetlock with Espeon Queen. Last time we talked on Ramos and caught a duck trio over here. And battled a member of Team Flare. And now we're going to deal with the rest of Team Flare and the power plant. I know they have a lot of fighting types and poison types. They have a lot of Scraggy, Scrogunks, Golbats, a few Mightyannas, and Swalots. I don't know who has what. Well, I know what some of them, what some of them have. With some of the trainer's Pokemon. But I don't remember all of what trainer has which. I know the guy, when you first enter the power plant, he has a Scraggy and a Krogunk. Then the lady after that, she has a Scraggy and I think a Gold Bat? Ah, oh, so annoying. I just want to get into the power plant. I was at one to the Pokemon Center to heal up after. That's why I was there. I left off right around here. But I went to the Pokemon Center. To make sure my team was healed before we started. And we're entering. <laughs> I love this music. Knock, knock. Who's there? Seriously though, who are you? You have a scratch in the Koga, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if the lady after him has. But I believe after this battle, we're going to have an evolution. The level limit is 37, but these two are not going to be used in the gym. One, Pixie's weak to electric. Two, I don't know what Pyro can even do to electric type. It's not like he can learn Bodos. I'm, I checked and you can't, so, yeah. And even if you could, you won't be able to switch out to your partner. You have to deal with every Pokemon by yourself, so, yeah. So that's why I don't want to even bother using this pair. Pyro could get killed trying to take on all those electric types by himself. Don't want to risk it. So I'm thinking of using Mawile and Storm. I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, yeah, Magneto and Storm. I was right. I was going to say, is that Mawile's name again? But I was right. It is Magneto. Because I'm pretty sure Mawile resists electric. And so does Storm. I forget you have to press the A button for them to evolve. And I believe the lady up next has like a Krogunk. 
and maybe a gold bat. So I think I'm going to continue with these two. I don't know, should I? I'm pretty sure Gobat's faster than Pyro, and so it could go for like Wing Attack or something. Or Air Cutter, which could destroy Pyro. I don't know. Mystique and Nightcrawler are not going to be used for quite a while. That, there's nothing they can do. And plus they're both really weak, not being fully evolved yet. Pyro's not fully evolved, but he's in his second stage, which is better than a beginner stage. And Mystique and... Nightcrawler both evolve at level 39. So I think after we beat Clement and the level limit gets increased, I'm going to train that pair up to level 39 and everyone else to level 38 before we take on our rival. Just so they can evolve. I will record the training so you can see the evolution, but that will be once we get our gem badge from Clement. I don't know. Could you take an air cutter? I'm not going to bother. I'm going to leave it to these two. I'm going to leave it to Storm and Magneto. Now, I don't want to risk Pyro not outspeeding. Then again, Pixie probably could deal with a gold bat on her own. Let's see. I don't think I need to teach them bulldogs. I think they can take down the Krogonk without it. I believe, I believe you have a Krogonk. I know you have a gold bat, but I'm not sure if you have a Krogonk. Okay, you do. You guys are my pair that I plan on using for the gym, so I don't want you guys to get too past the level limit. I don't think they will, because I think most of the Pokemon here are what Pixie and Pyro can handle. Oh, brother. I would definitely give, I give um, Storm Bulldoze to deal with Clement's gym. I need you to pull through. Thank you. Thank you for snapping out. Well, not snapping out, but breaking through. Like I wanted you to. That's enough.
A crit. Wait, what? Your health is 101. Your hit points are 101. Let me see that again. They are, it is. Wow. Pixie has the highest, though. Nightcrawl is already level 37. These two have a... <laughs> once they evolve, they will have a new training spot. Right now, they train right next to the daycare. With the other known stuff. Because they're so weak. Mystique couldn't take out a Dugtria. That's how weak they are. But I like this pair. They're nice. They're good. They're a good pair. I still need to use you because I think up next is a Mightyena. So let me heal you up. I'm pretty sure up next to the Madiana. I think. Do you have a Madiana? Have a mighty hand. It's been a while since I played, but I do remember what uh, quite what some of these trainers have. Do remember what these trainers have, but not know which one has which. Oh come on. Who you sending out? Who you sending out? Oh, 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 oh. Um. Can you do this? Can you do this? No, you cannot. I do not know how this is going to turn out. Send out my weakest pair. Can you do this? Okay, you can. Who are you sending out now? Can you finish it off? Almost. Who now? Fine by me. Why did that mighty Anna give so much experience? Jeez, mighty Anna gives a lot of experience. I never realized that. <laughs> I never realized that. I never doubted Mystique and Nightcrawler. They may be unevolved, but they are pretty good. 
I just don't like taking any risks with them getting the kills because of them not being completely that strong. That wouldn't have happened if Magni didn't hit himself in confusion, but whatever, at least everyone got experience. Think I'm going to put Pixie in front again, and then Pyro. Let me heal Magneto again. I know there's an admin battle. I think it's a Houndoom and a... Mighty Anna. A Mighty Anna that's level 38, which is terrifying. I don't know what else she have. I just know. I did not know you had a Scraggy. Actually, I knew you had a Scraggy, but I don't know what else she have. I think Pyro would be faster than it. Yeah, it's only level 32. And goodbye. I think the next person has a swallow. No, I don't need a more again to level thirty eight. Well, to be honest, it won't matter. Like I said, those two are not going to be used in the upcoming gym, so. I think I'm going to leave with Storm and Magneto. These two, I do not need to get to the level limit. Because I need to use them in the gym. I'm going to use them in the gym, so hopefully... I don't gain too many levels for them. Go back. Good decision that I put these two in front. Well, I put you in front. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. But I'm definitely positive the next one to swallow. And I want to use Pyro against that Swallow. Swallow should get Pyro to evolve also. I hope.
I can't even find the way to get through it for a minute. Do you have a swallow? Okay. Let's get this camera angle to the perfect angle. There we go. What does it go for? Body swim. I'm gonna switch out pretty soon. If you don't hit with this side shock, I'm switching out. Okay. What does, oh, that was my tablet. Apparently it just restarted that. I don't know why my tablet restarted. Doesn't matter though. Going to heal up. I sure didn't check on my citrus berries. I'm going to continue using these two. I'm just trying not to get Storm and Magneto past to go past any higher levels. But I may need to use them for the upcoming fight. I think the next battle is against a Houndoom. I guess I could use Pixie against Houndoom. But I think a Surf from Storm will finish it off. Then an Aerial instead of... Well, Aerial A Surf Fly might finish it off. I don't know. Okay, I was going to use Side Shock again anyways. Great job. What? Pyro is evolving? We're almost done here. Once we finish off here, I will be ending off the episode. This is a lot. Well, you're a special attacker, so flame charge is not that great on you. There we go. We got a Del Fox. Now your psychic type moves are stabbed. Stab. 
They did so much because you're a great special attacker. But it's going to do even more now that you're part psychic. Like, Flame Charge barely done anything because your physical attack is terrible. Now you're weak to dark, but you can, you can eat up hits, so... Now you're weak to dark, so. But you <laughs> ate up that sucker punch. Perfectly fine. So no concern there. Nice job, Pixie. Knocking out things with one hit. You really love me, don't you? You knocked it out with one hit a return. First, your physical attack is amazing, so. Let me heal up real quick. And switch my pair. Then again, maybe I should let you handle, uh, maybe you can handle him. You know what? I'm gonna let Pixie handle him. Since, since the uh, Storm and Magneto are gonna gain levels in the gym next episode, I might as well let Pixie and them finish it off here. So I might as well have Pixie and them finish it up. Since they won't be using the gym. Yes, Pyro may be evolved, but I really don't think Pyro can handle that many Pokemon by himself without switching. Don't want to risk Pyro having to deal with all those Pokemon on his own without being able to switch to his partner. And the fact that I don't, I have the no healing role in battle. Which I haven't had an issue with. I only plan on getting rid of it if it becomes like, where it's like constantly, constantly, too many, po where Pokemon are constantly, constantly, constantly dying, then I might get rid of it all. But so far I only had four Pokemon die because of it. And plus, I've been growing plenty of berries. Goodbye. Level 37 for you. Tech, that's the level limit. But you're not being used in the gym, so if you go past the level limit, I don't care. If it comes down to having to use Pixie, then there's a problem. Because <laughs> Pixie would get destroyed. Scientists, take care of these pesty intruders. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. I don't know what you have. And why did I go on my back? You didn't even take damage. <laughs> question oh, speaking of that, I haven't even asked the question of the day. But I just saw the one. Who's your favorite evil team? You lowered my attack. I don't appreciate that. But I'm still gonna try to keep Pixie in. Ah, I see what you're doing there. Hmm. 
Let me feather dance you. Oh, speed tie, huh? Oh, no, scary face. You scary face me? Just so Pixie can get his, her attack back. And we're out. Not like you have pursuit. My Diana doesn't get pursuit. I know I used one before. Ooh, scary face again. How about I give you a return? Oh, you swaggered me. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't want you to hit yourself. You have a crazy... <laughs> you were out. Their attack stat is incredibly high. How much is this going to do? Not a whole lot. So, let's mystical fire this. Okay, scary face me. Your attacks barely do anything to me. Don't hit yourself. Do I need to switch again? Come on. The crit did not matter, but nice job for getting a crit. There we go. We defeated you. You lose. These two. Always pretending to be heroes. <laughs> it's obvious who they are. It's very obvious. Thank you for healing my Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day.